Okay, so there it is. Um, I'm gonna have to dedicate this video to Heliarch. He sent me a question here uh, a little bit ago, which I got to answer today. Um, and he was talking about how he had picked up a sled, really good running sled, ran like a rape tape, um, but really hard to start. And that, and it had been sitting for a long time. Now that sets off some red flags for me. Um, basically, when your sled starts to run lean, be it because of a vacuum leak, due to uh, car boots, crank seals, uh, missing vacuum plugs, etc., the first thing you're going to notice is that it uh, is going to act incredibly cold-blooded. The reason for this is that it's going to run lean, um, so not enough fuel. Uh, now, in a vehicle, most factory vehicles, it's not going to be such a huge deal, but in a two-stroke, it uh, it becomes actually a really pretty big deal. Uh, you don't want to run something like this because eventually what you'll end up with, if you run too lean for too long, is complete and utter meltdown. Uh, your pistons will melt, you'll uh, garf, your, garf your jugs, etc., etc., when I realized what was going on with this one, um, when I realized what was going on with this one, I uh, immediately stopped running it. And I mean, I bought a bought a fuel injected 550. So, anyways, I'll show you guys what I do to diagnose. This is where the ether comes in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start it up, get our ether handy. Then we're going to start it up. Oops. And anywhere that you suspect that there's going to be a leak, usually where it'll happen is around is around the uh, the carb boots right there, where the carbs connect to the uh, the motor to the jugs cylinders. It'll happen around the base of the jug right there. But the mo and and the other common one would be down here in the crank seal because you see in a two-stroke motor there is no oil in the crankcase. Crankcase is oiled by the uh, oil that's that you mix with your gas or that you put in your oil tank. So basically, you check it for those of you very mechanically inclined the same way that you would check an intake leak. So we'll fire it up. I'm hoping you guys heard that, but basically what we are listening for is as we spray the ether down in around the seals and the carb boots, etc., 
we were looking for a change of pitch in the motor. You also heard that the thing was idling up really high, which should also be, and uh, I've actually got it idled way down uh, as per the jets there, or the, the slides there, but um, you'll notice it idled really high still, right around three grand. And that'll be another symptom that you'll notice with bad car boots or crank seals or a vacuum leak. And uh, like I said, what you're looking for is you'll spray the starting fluid in those places, in those rubber pieces that have a tendency to rot and fall apart over time. Seals, carb boots, anywhere around the carb where it may not be sealed, the bottom of the jug, um, anywhere like that. And uh, what you're looking for is that, that change in pitch or RPM, RPM of the motor. Now I don't know if the, ca ca the camera is going to capture the sound properly, but there's also a very tingy sound, kind of a kind of a dry tingy, like a di -di 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 like a machine gun going off. And what that actually is is detonation within the cylinder due to the lean condition and the the heat in the in the cylinder. So now that we have properly diagnosed this sled and I've shown you guys what I do. I am going to uh, show you how to fix this particular problem. Breaking the law, breaking the law.